Welcome back to Inside the Lodge. We're here with Captain Addy Cole. Addy, thanks for joining us, mate. Thanks for having me. Okay, no, it's a pleasure. Um, we're going to start at the beginning. How did your recruitment, how did it come, in, come about you coming to Stowe? Um, so I've, I've known Vinny for a while, um, mm. personally. Um, I played with him on that on Sundays and just knowing him, he's known my older brothers, so it's just kind of like that. Um, and he called me up towards the end of last season, just normal checkup, whatnot. And funny enough, I was like, yeah, I think I'm, I want to be closer to home because I was at Folkestone. It was a quick, quite far away. So I um, said to him, I want to be close to home. And he was like, yeah, would, would you be interested in coming over to Wolverhampton? And I can't lie, I said yes straight away. And then, yeah, it just made it happen. Nice, brilliant. Um, Folkestone is step three. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Did that make you hesitate at all coming down a level? Um, not, not to be honest, no. Because my main thing was um, being closer to home and then Wolverhampton. I've always known of Wolverhampton. Um, I know a lot of boys that's been here and whatnot, and I've never heard, I've, all I've heard is good stuff. Mm. So dropping down a level wasn't too much of a, a problem for me. That as soon as, I, as soon as the opportunity came, that, oh, yeah, you can come Wolverhampton, I was like, yeah, definitely. So, uh, what did you think? So when you came here, met the squad, you said you knew a few of the boys yeah, anyway, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Did, were you impressed with the quality straight oh, away? Definitely. No, the yeah. quality was there. It just obviously just needed a little bit of fine tuning, which hope, which I could, I'd like to say I've helped with. Definitely. Um, but yeah, in terms of the firepower going forward, as you as you can, you've probably seen a bit pre-season as well. Yeah. It, it was there. It was just a case of coming in, getting the boys together, keep it ticking and you know yeah you've come in and you've been made captain pretty quickly yeah we can see that from training and the influence you have on a game mm. was that something vin spoke about before you came here knowing that you were going to be one of the leaders in the squad um we didn't necessarily speak about captaincy mm. but it was he just wanted me to come in and and just lead by example and whatnot um like i said i know a lot of the boys i played with a lot of them whether it be through school football or like here and there in non-league. So he was just literally like, ads come in, do what you do, help the boys, push them on. And I think at the time, they were like a few points off playoffs. Mm. So I feel like he's, he's just told me, so it's like crunch time. And they just needed that little bit more of a, of a push. And yeah, it, it just went from that to obviously coming in, having a great end to the season and obviously having a big impact in the change room. And me and Vinny had a conversation. He was like, yeah, Ad, I want to make you captain. How do you feel about it? And I was like, yeah, 100%. I'll do, definitely do that. Nice. Um, we'll talk technically football then. I think everyone who was watching Tuesday especially mm. knows that you probably increased the tempo of the team. Yeah. Is that something you set about doing? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, mm. Obviously, where I play, I, like to, I do like to slow the game down when need be. But when it does need to be lifted, mm. that's that's what I will do, and that's I guess that's the role uh, that's the role I play, the role I like to play, and it's I guess it's, it's similar to the role I play in life. I like to help others, um, help others in, in 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 the best way that I can. Yeah. So obviously dictating a game, slowing it down, when to um, speed it up and whatnot is more or less like my life part of me. Nice. So, yeah. Brilliant. And. Uh, I think everyone watching this will probably have seen the goal from Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You fired from the halfway line. We've seen you take a few quick free kicks as mm. well, things like that. Is that something you take on yourself to always express yourself, maybe just have a go, sort of yeah. buy a ticket, hope to win the raffle? Yeah, literally. Yeah. If I saw it, if I can see it's on, I yeah. will go for it. Uh, you know what I mean? The worst that happens is you miss yeah. and you, you get on with it. Um, so it's just, you know, no risk, no reward. That's what I call it. So Is yeah. that a special captain's privilege or is that encourage <laughs> uh, everyone in the squad? To, well, to you know, that, now I've got that armband. I have to be careful with how much, how expressive yeah, I am. Expressive, yeah. <laughs> but no, if I didn't have the armband, I'll probably do it 10 times more. <laughs> Someone else's problem. Then, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so, like you said, you'd heard a bit about Wolfenstow as a club, mm. how's it been since you've come in? Uh, like, Amazing. That's About what you expected or yeah. how does it compare to clubs at a higher level? Maybe um, more resources, more bodies behind the scenes. Um, I'll say, I'll be, I'll be honest, it's been more than I expect. That is, it's, I expect it, I'll, like I said, I heard a lot of good things. I come in and it's been, it's even beat my expectations and nice. they were, they were already high. And just 
the way the fans are so involved and together and all the volunteers, it's just such a family club and that's mm. one thing that I love. Yeah. And I like to see a good, a good community together and whatnot. Yeah. And then obviously, because I am from East London, yeah. like there's no other, other better way for it to be done. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, doing it for an East London club and aim is to put Wolverstone on a map, get them up higher in non-league and yeah. yeah. Where, where in East London are you from? Um, Plasto, in Newham. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so you're really local yeah, as well. really local, yeah. I've yeah. given them my exact <laughs> location now, yeah. Like, yeah. You don't need to address. As soon as you said Newham. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we'll get close to that. So, upcoming season, how do you think the squad is now? We um, haven't really lost anyone except Bilal yeah. on his Australian voyage. Mm -hmm. I've been told he is watching the videos though. So. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, other than that, we've kept the whole team together, yeah. which is huge, which is pretty rare in non-league. Yeah, I know exactly. there's still a little bit to go before the season yeah. starts, but how do you rate our chances coming um, I'll be honest, I'll say on camera I'm not too fast. It's, we should be playoffs minimum. Mm. I know a lot of clubs would say this and, and everyone has wants high expectations or has high expectations for themselves, but like truthfully speaking, honestly speaking, I'll I'll be very disappointed if we don't make the playoffs. Mm. Like there's 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 nothing else in my mind. Obviously, if we go win the league, that's a great bonus. But minimum playoffs for sure. Minimum playoffs, and then go and win the playoffs, and then and go win the playoffs. Yes, yeah. of course. Obviously, <laughs> of course. obviously, that's great. Um, let's talk a bit about you then. Uh, how old were you when you maybe saw that professional football wasn't going to happen? Um, and came into non-league. Right, so I was at Blackpool. I'd done my um, youth youth career at yeah. Blackpool, mm. and then had a few. Obviously, after that, I had a few opportunities. Went to this club, that club. Nothing was kind of fitting right because I just I kind of wanted to push straight on into first team. Mm -hmm. And where I was going, it was it was like I don't know if we can guarantee you first team football or whatnot. So then. I just ended up falling into non-league as many would um, and then it, it took me a while to adjust, definitely yeah. took me a while to adjust. Um, I took a year out to be honest and I was just kind of like, like, what am I going to do? Like, how, how, do I, how do I find my feet in, in, in this men's football where, and it's back then more than it is now, it was a very much a long ball, long ball, long ball yeah. um, and I've, I've always been a centre mid. So mm. when I came into non-league, it was something new. They started throwing me out wide because yeah. it was like, you're not ready in a, to play in the middle. At the time, I didn't understand it. Now, mm. I definitely do. And I learned a lot from it. So, yeah, like I said, I was just sat back through that point and then just been non-league ever since. Yeah. And it just, like I say, took me a while to adjust, but eventually adjusted. And yeah, it's just it's been, it's been interesting. <laughs> what about physicality? You're not the biggest player in the team, mm. but you're definitely not bothered by the physical. We see that a lot. Yeah, if anything, yeah. you're probably more giving it out than taking it. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> seen that in the game. How long did that take you to grow into? Um, I would say it took me about, to be honest with you, about two seasons. Yeah. So, yeah, about two seasons and only it took me a while to get into it. It was just a case of accepting it. Yeah. It took me a while to accept it and just understand this is what it takes, this is what you've got to do. And once you, I guess, get that hard graft out of the way, then your talent and your freedom for, for you to express will come. Yeah. But yeah, for now, I love, now I can't I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I love a bit of physicality. Like you said, I'm small, so a lot of people would think, oh yeah, we can target him. And I'm like, yes, bring it. Yeah. And I'm, I give it as much as yeah. I get. So yeah, nah, it's, it's, it's all part of the game. You've seen it. You make people miss you more often than they get you. Yeah, opinion. yeah, of course, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we'll go to the squad a little bit. I'm going to ask you to name a few names. So who in our team is the fastest? Oh, fastest in the team. Um, oh, Jordan Pert. Jordan Pert. 100%. Pert. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Good run. Um, strongest player? Strongest. I'd have to give it to Kevin. Kevin. Kevin, Kevin yeah. Kevin. When, yeah. He's, when, he's, when he's on it, <laughs> yeah, he's a, he's a force. He's yeah. packed out a bit more than his exactly. brother as well. Exactly, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Best in the air? Best in the air. Ooh. I'd probably have to go Kevin again. Kevin just because just towards yeah. the, I remember towards the back end he's of the season. He's got that advantage starting. Yeah, higher yeah, as well, yeah. put it? a few balls in and he's, yeah. he's, he's, he's climbed above, above everyone. And last one, best touch? Best touch. Yourself not included. <laughs> um, Kimani. Come on, hundred percent. He's a very good yeah, player. He's talent. He's a big. He talent. is 
incredible for his age. Yeah, especially. 100%. And it's, for how much football he's missed, actually, in that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And like, for me, a player like me, obviously, a centre mid, mm. it's, it's so nice to have someone you can just give the ball and just yeah. know they're going to make something happen or keep yeah. it. Like, he's he's player that I hope he does push on because that's what he deserves. Yeah, definitely. We're, so we've got a few players, like we've just said about Kamani there. For players that are ahead of you, Brian as well is an option, someone that you can just hit kind of yeah, thing, back yeah. to gold especially. Does that take the pressure off of you in the centre mid, knowing that you've just got options ahead of you that um, you can just get rid of it too? Yeah, it, well it definitely does. Like yeah. Kimani, Brian and whatnot, it definitely helps without mm -hmm. a doubt. Um, knowing that like, sometimes if you're in a bit of a, I guess a, a sticky situation, mm. you can find Brian and Brian will hold it or you can find Kimani and he'll beat three, four players and like that, that definitely takes pressure off you, off myself, especially as a centre mid, because yeah. sometimes it can get a bit rough and tough and a bit messy in there. And you know, everyone has their off days. So Crowded. I, exactly. So yeah. then, when you've got them options, it definitely helps. That's brilliant. Ali, we've got pre-season to get to. So thank you very much for joining us. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for having me again. Cheers.